pass me now. I'm calling you song and after I've read the scripture I'm going to ask Deacon Grant to come and pray for us this morning Amen, Amen. Lord do I've been my dwelling place in all generation before the mountain were brought forth I even thou hast Form the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Yes, yes, yes. Thou turnest man into destruction and says, Return ye children of man. For a thousand years in thy sight are but yesterday when it's past, and as watch in the night. Thou carries them away. With the flood they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up. In the morning they flourish and grow up. And in the evening it is down and wither. For we are consumed by thine yeah. anger and by thy wrath are troubled. Thus I read Psalm 90, 1 through 7. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word and to the listeners. Deacon Grant. Good morning. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and griefs to bear. But what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Why? Because we do not take it to God in prayer. Most holy and everlasting God, our Father. Lord, it's again that we have come. And Lord, as we come this morning, certainly, Lord, we come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this another first Sunday that you allowed us to see. We praise your holy and your righteous name. And Lord, I bow in submission to you this morning on behalf of the Salem Missionary Baptist Church. I bow to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, all that you continue to do. We give you the praise and the glory. All belongs to you this morning. We thank you. We praise your holy and your righteous name. And Lord, I continue to pray this morning. Certainly, Lord, I pray for our pastor, Lord. I pray for a pastor and his family. I pray, Lord, that you continue to strengthen him for the journey. I know that you have not brought him this far to leave him now. We thank you, Lord. We praise your holy and righteous name. And Lord, we pray for Pastor Emeritus Frederick and his family. We pray for each and every one of us today, Lord. Help us to realize that we serve a risen Savior. 
He promised never to leave us or forsake us. He promised, Lord, that he'll stand by us, Lord, if, if we just hold on to God's own changing hand. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We love you. We adore you this morning. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that lead us and teach us and guide us in the way that we have us to go. We bless your name. We love you. We adore you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah to your name this morning. Lord, Lord, we pray for those that are sick among us this morning. You know who they are. So, Lord, I ask that you will touch as only you can. I ask that you will bless as only you can. We thank you, Lord. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord, Lord, I continue, Lord, to pray, Lord, for each and every one of us, Lord. I pray for my wife this morning. Lord, I pray for my sister. Pray for each and every one of us, Lord. We need you, Lord. We cannot make this journey on our own. We thank you, Lord. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Lord, Lord, we serve a risen Savior this morning. He promised never to leave us or forsake us, Lord. Lord, so I'm standing on your promise this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord. Then, Lord. Hallelujah. Then, Lord. Hallelujah. When it's all over, we have to quit time for eternity. But, Lord, I know. I know. Hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. That you have a plan already prepared high in the heavens. High in the heavens, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, with thanksgiving, amen. In Jesus' name, man, with thanksgiving, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Deacon at this, at this time, this is the first Sunday in the month, and we're going to give you the opportunity to tell us uh, how good the Lord has been to you. Is there one? Good morning. Amen, amen. Why aren't you following me? Yes. Is there another? Good morning. Good morning. I just wanted to just thank God, praise him for being such an awesome God. Thank him for his favor, and I thank him for keeping me. And Lord, I know it's only him that helped me to survive a whole week with three boys. <laughs> oh, murder, thank God. Amen. Amen. Is there another? Yes. a lot to give him thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You no, know, you go. Go ahead. Go ahead.
thank God this morning because he's been so good to me and I have a, a lot to give him thanks for because I know where he brought me from and when, whenever you see me and I'm praising the Lord I got my, my reason and I have my right because he didn't have to do it but he did uh, for the last past few weeks I was Dying in some pain. But thank God for Sister Colonel. Yeah, yeah. She, she began to be my doctor. And she just worked on me with this, this pain. And I thank God this morning I'm able to hold my arm up. I couldn't, couldn't lift my arm, but thank God I'm able to lift my arm this morning. So thank you, Sister Colonel, and thank God for having you in my life. And I just want to. Give him all the praise because he's good. He's awesome. He's better than good. Amen. Amen. Lord, you made me. Lord, you made me. Put your hands together, brother. Lord, you made me. You know. Lord, you made me. Lord, you made me. You know who I am. Lord, you made me. Where I am, you brought me. What I got, you gave me. What I know you taught me Where I go you take me Lord you made me Lord you made me You know who I am God bless. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> come on. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Scripture says, I was glad when he said, Unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gate. O Jerusalem, let us stand. Sing together our dark side. God from whom all blessings
sweet I will pray. It calls me from a world of care. It bids me at my father's stress and grief my soul has often found relief and off the skin the tempters snare by thine return sweet I will pray oh God I help in ages pass our hope shelter from life's stormy blast in our eternal home. I'm to be bowed at the throne of mercy, the place that you promised us that you would hear and answer our prayer. It's not my father, not my mother, but it's me, oh Lord. Touch us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Set our hearts on hollowed fire. Remind us a charge to keep we have. A God we must glorify. An ever dying soul to save fitted for the sky. Remind us, my master. We must work the work of him who sent us while it is day for the night cometh when no man can thank you my master for all of your goodness your kindness and your tender mercies if it had not been for the Lord on our side where would we be we thank you my master for the gentle touch that you gave us this morning allowing us to find ourselves clothed in our right mind. And you gave us the mind to come out to the house of worship and prayer where we can hear and give God glory for all the things that he has done. Now touch us. Touch us from more high. Give us a fresh reminder that without you we are nothing but with you all things so come Holy Spirit come heavenly dove with all thy quickening power kindle a flame of sacred love in these cold hearts of ours remind us that without you we are nothing but with you all things are possible well, thank you my master thank you for walking with us and talking with us telling us that we are your joy we share as we tarry there no another can never know keep us in your keeping care lead God and direct us along life's journey and wherever we go whatever we do give us a living testimony that without God we are nothing but with God all things are possible thank you now keep us ever and we'll give you praise glory and honor in Jesus name we pray amen
cross, after which we be led in our appeal for our tithes and offerings by Deacon Harold Gathers, after which we'll have our announcement. We have our birthday and, and our April members. And then we'll have a selection one more day. We'll have this welcome of visitors, scripture reading, and prayer. And then we'll have our chair. And then we'll have our sermon selection. Kneel at the cross. We will proceed as outlined.
Good morning. Good morning. Let us bow our heads. Our Heavenly Father, we come at this hour. Yes, sir. Our Heavenly Father, this is the hour that we set aside to give back to you yes. a portion of what you have given to us. Yes. Our Heavenly Father, we ask a special blessing on those that are able to give this morning. Yes. Our Heavenly Father, bless those that are not able to give for some reason. Yes. Bless them equally. Heavenly Father, we thank you now that that is often will be used for the uplifting of your kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Please pay attention to our morning announcements. You were right there when it mattered most with your help and support. You reached out and gave of your generous heart, and you made more of a difference than you probably even realized. Thanks for your calls, letters, prayers, and generous gifts it meant the world to our family. And this comes from the Robert Smalls family. The Charleston County Missionary Baptist Association midterm 2024 session. Dear esteemed pastors and ministry leaders, Warm greetings from the Charleston County Baptist Association Executive Board. We are delighted to extend a heartfelt invitation for you to save the date for the upcoming Charleston County Association in-person midterm session. The significant event is scheduled to take place on Tuesday, April the 16th, and Wednesday, April 17th, at Central Baptist Church in Somerville under the esteemed leadership of Reverend Edward L. Simmons, Sr., serving as the host pastor. The church is conveniently located at 123 West Richland Street, Somerville. We are eagerly, and we, as we eagerly anticipate the gathering, our hearts are uplifted in prayer seeking a session filled with the Holy Spirit's present and blessed fellowship. In alignment with safety measures, we are committed to adhering to the COVID-19 protocols established by the host church. Moderator Dason kindly requests all churches and auxiliaries to commence the registration process for the session. Additionally, he encourages churches and auxiliaries to include their annual gift to Benedict College along with their registration with payments made payable to Benedict College. We are eagerly anticipating your presence at this event, knowing that your continued support and prayers are invaluable to us. Warm regards, and this comes from uh, the General Secretary Reverend Gary Brisbane, on, half, on behalf of the moderator. Amen. New Cannon Street Baptist Church, Reverend David White, Senior Pastor, Corley invites you to our annual Women in Red, Men in Black program. To the pastor, officers, and members, New Cannon Street Baptist Church respectfully invites you to join us as we host our annual program, Sunday, April 21st, 2024, at 4 o'clock p.m. Come dress to participate in our processional promptly at 4 o'clock p.m. Minister Jacqueline Russell of Royal Missionary Baptist Church will deliver the soul-stirring message for this occasion. Our theme is More Than a Conqueror. We thank you in advance for your prayers and support. We look forward to the fellowship with you and your church family. May God bless. 
Sincerely, Deaconess Penelope Murray, the chairperson, and Deacon James Owen, um, Deacon Chairman, and Reverend David L. White, Senior Pastor. The Women's Auxiliary of Charleston County Missionary Baptist, Charleston County Missionary Association, Valerie Cooper, President, April, April the 3rd, you are cordially invited to the 86th anniversary celebration of the Women's Auxiliary, Friday, April 26th at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Baptist Educational Center, which is located at 2026 Jacksonville Road, North Charleston. The theme, Renew Our Commitment to Reconnect and Empower Our Faith, and this comes from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, 31st verse, and Hebrews, 11th chapter, 1st verse. The invited messenger is the Reverend James B. Lewis, Sr., pastor of the Salem Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, each, each associational church is asked to give an assessment of $100 for this annual event and make the checks payable to the Women's Auxiliary of Charleston County Baptist Association. All ladies are asked to, wear, to dress in white with a red corsage. Sincerely, Ms. Valerie Cooper, President. The Charleston County Baptist Deacons Union and its auxiliary to the pastor offices and members, the Charleston County Baptist Deacons Union and the Youth Department cordially invites you to its seven speaker program Friday, April the 19th at 7 o'clock p.m. at Jerusalem Baptist Church, which is located at 684 Rutledge Avenue. And Reverend Herbert Beard is the pastor. We will have seven dynamic speakers from our area churches. <coughs> this program is to help support our youth and young adult attending the National Baptist Deacons Convention to be held in Springfield, Massachusetts, July 21st through the 26th. We are asking for a donation of $100 to support our youth. We look forward to your present prayers and support in this endeavor. Yours in Christ, Deacon Rodney Feaster, President, Deacon George Pearson, Secretary. And I, I was told that Reverend, I mean Deacon, probably Deacon Samuel Price will be one of the speakers. To, to the um, Salem Baptist Church pastor, officers, and auxiliaries, me and membership. I am soliciting for your support of Miss Salem Baptist Church 2024. Let's make a special effort to invest in our youth. Little Miss Skyla Wright will be representing Salem in the um, Charleston County Baptist Association Miss Baptist Youth Pageant on April the 27th, and um, Skyla is the great-granddaughter of Deacon Arthur Cornell and Deaconess Alma Cornell. The pageant will be held at Salem on the 27th at 3 o'clock p.m. Time is of the utmost importance. The challenge has begun, so please submit your donations to the church by April 21st. I am appealing to the pastor, deacons, auxiliaries, and the entire membership. Ways of supporting, purchase ads, full page ad is $100, half page ad, $50, a fourth page, $25, business cards, $20, patrons, $10, and make all donations, or make a donation as God has blessed you, and make all checks payable to Salem Baptist Church. And on the memo line, please write Miss Baptist Youth Pageant. Thank you, you advance, advance. And this comes from Sister Gloria Murray. Again this year, um, Sister Margaret Roper Jenkins will be collecting non-perishable food items um, for the Women's Baptist Association Convention, which will be held um, this year at Morris College. 
um, the community outreach, Let's Stop Hunger in our community. And this uh, takes place on June 10th through the 14th. And um, Mrs. Mary Alice Graham is the new president. And the president initiative honoring our past and present president as we promote the cause of Christ through missionary work. Our purpose is to stock the pantry shelves of a community nonprofit agency in the city of the annual session. Bring unexpired goods and non-perishable um, during that week. The women's ministry meeting, you are invited to join us Friday, April the 12th at 7 o'clock p.m. This is a virtual um, meeting, one hour, and it's on the church teleconference line. Um, and you may RSVP if necessary to Varel Martin, chairperson. Thank you for listening and thank you for being here. As you notice, it's always this time of the year that um, we ask the members to do a little extra because it's association time, it's convention time, and um, other things that's going on. Uh, so we ask that you just do your best to support all of the program that you can. Uh, once you do your best, what does the Lord require of us to do our best? That's all he requires of us. Once we do our best, that's all he requires. But I just want to, I uh, would like to put a, a little plug in for uh, Deacon Price as speaker for the Deacon's Union, which will be on the 19th at, um, Jerusalem Methodist Baptist Church. This is support the youth from the um, union. Our convention this year is going to be in Springfield, Massachusetts, and um, the expenses is very high. And a lot of the parents that have the children that was going, you know, it's, it's a little rough on them to, um, especially those that have two or three kids. Uh, so uh, our president, Rodney. Feaster, he decided that we would try to do something to release some of the financial expense for the parents. So um, Sister um, Mack from Jerusalem Baptist Church, she is one of the youth advisors. So they decided that they would have a speaker's program and they asked that Deacon Samuel Price be one of those speakers. And as of the 19, I think that will be a week from this coming Friday up at Jerusalem Baptist Church. So we ask that you would just bring a little extra dollar, extra quarter, extra half a dollar next Sunday at when Deacon Price uh, deliver his sermon on next Sunday, next Friday night, that he would have something to give in return, okay? We ask that you would do that, put something in Deacon Price's hand on next Sunday that he'd be able to go and all of us would be able to help the youth. Uh, again, at this time, we also would like to thank Sister Gloria Murray and the Yams. Uh, I don't know if, if you notice or not, all of us seniors during the uh, Easter time, they sent out cards. They sent out cards. I think most of us got the card. And on behalf of all of us, Sister Gloria Murray, we extend our uh, sincere thanks to you and the YAM for what you all are doing in recognizing the youth of the Salem Missionary Baptist Church. And also, um, uh, Charleston County Congress of Christian Education, they also sent out cards to uh, uh, the seniors. I don't know how many, I don't know if it's just the members of the association, I mean of the Congress or not, but uh, they sent our card, and I would like to, uh, for Sister Linda President, uh, she is an active member of the Congress, and um, just to extend to them uh, hearty thanks from all of us for what they are doing. Uh, Sister uh, Mar Margaret Roper Jenkins, she is working uh, to help those who are in need. And she had a program going on for the last 40 days that uh, through um, 
uh, uh, the uh, what organization with that Sister Rope? Um, Kidney Foundation. The Kidney Foundation uh, to um, donate uh, clothes. You know, a lot of times we pull up our tax and we put on there, we donate such, so, so much for the, um, for charity. So in order to be truthful on that, make that donation, and then um, you would feel guilty by just putting that on the tax form. Okay, so we want to thank Sister Margaret Roper for that today. And also, you know, um, the, our scripture says that we are to give honor to whom honor is due, and that's what we are doing. A lot of times we, we, we should take the time just to encourage one another every once in a while. Uh, Reverend, um, um, but the former pastor over there at Fourth Baptist, uh, Reverend Covington, he always used to say that uh, we should strike one another, you know, stroke one another on the back every once in a while, let them know that we enjoy, that we appreciate what they're doing. Sister Roper, we appreciate that. And, and what she's doing, she didn't just ask to do it, but she did something this morning that, that made my heart feel thankful. Uh, 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 I, 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 I hope you don't mind, but I just want to point out one thing that she did this morning. Sister Vivian Simmons, she made a donation and, and, um, uh, and to show her appreciation. Sister Ropa uh, Jenkins, she presented a, a, a gift of thank you to Sister Simmons this morning. And I think you all should say amen to that. Amen. amen. We, we, we should encourage one another. And that's what it's all about. Say amen. And I think God is pleased, Sister Rupert, with what you're doing. And, and you are setting an example for those of us who just be quiet. You are setting an example. And to Sister Murray, Sister President, to all of those who are working in the vineyard. Uh, see, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I, I, I'm not sure to thank you. So we just would like to say thank you. And again, uh, this is the fourth month in the year, this year is going fast, fourth month in the year. And let me take this opportunity right here now to, to thank Salem, the members of Salem, Amen. the members of Salem. You, you, are not, um, you may not show up on Sunday morning, but Salem is still in the black. We are operating in the black, and, and, and why? It's because of you, and what are you doing to for the love of your church. And on behalf of Pastor Lewis, uh, the deacon ministry, trustee ministry, we want to just like to thank you and make our job much easier for what you're doing. We thank you for that. Keep on doing what you're doing, and God bless you, and God keep you. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, take my seat at this time, but I just want you all to know that I appreciate I appreciate everything. Somebody cut my. I got up too soon, so we need to do. Oh, okay. You 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 want to do that? I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. So uh, I was just in, um, reminded by uh, Sister Ma Martin that today is the first Sunday of the month, and you know what happened the first Sunday of the month? We usually do what? Birthday, birthday and anniversary. So all of you who have a birthday this month. Just let us know your birthday, and we're going to sing happy birthday. If you got married in this month, let us know that also. Who? Nobody in April? Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. Birthday. Amen. 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 Another. Young man. Uh -huh. My birthday was um, April 3rd. April 3rd. All right. Amen. April 3rd. Who else? Up? Anybody in the choir? Okay, let's, let's get a little exercise. Stand, let us say happy birthday. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's be joyful. 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 Let's say to happy birthday. Happy birthday, members. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Thank you very much. Bless you. Make 
Before they extend our sympathy to you, yeah. uh, we know that God will take care of you. Be not dismayed, will they ever be tired? God will take care of you. Selim, thank you, and let us continue to pray for one another. Sister Mary, Mary um, Jefferson. Jefferson. Good morning, Salem Good morning. and visiting friends. I just, first, I uh, want to make a slight correction the Easter cards came from the sisterhood. Oh, the sisterhood. The okay, sisterhood. correction. Let's, let's give them thanks for sending the out the sisterhood. The sisterhood. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But See, I'm still smaller. You could correct me. I'm smaller. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Special thanks to you, Salem, for all those who were able to contribute to our deacon's tea. We have not quite reached our mark. For those who were not able at the time to contribute, we are just a little bit short. Uh -huh. So if you have not contributed to the deacon's tea, please do so. Hey. I would like to give thanks to all of the captains. If they are present, will you please stand? I did not do this alone. Uh -huh. Captains, would you please stand? Deacons, amen. salute your captains. Amen. 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 And then I have, you know, there's a movie that's called Hidden Figures. Uh -huh. I have hidden figures. Uh -huh. Sister Rosemary Yaden, uh -huh. Sister Annette Holmes, All right. Sister Gwen Marks. Mm -hmm. They have been behind. Sister Mark keep me up to date uh -huh. on the finances. Uh, all right. But these other ladies, they keep me going right. on the program, uh -huh. the com kitchen committee. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And last Sunday, I did announce uh -huh. that we, Deacon Herman Simmons led the pack. Uh -huh. Him and his captain. Raised over one thousand dollars. Amen. Okay. Amen. Congratulations to them. Uh -huh. I also want to share that it is time for me to pass this torch, and Do I what? have someone who has agreed. Uh, no. Sister. We we'll think about it later. <laughs> you, you don't want me. <laughs> It is time to pass the torch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, uh, thank you so much for the cards, visitation, and telephone calls uh, to Sister Tyler. She was blessed this week with the yams. They went up there and blessed her heart. Amen. Continue, please, to keep her in prayer. Yeah. She's in White Oak Manor in room 402. 402. Uh, Continue to keep her in prayer. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. And we would like to thank Sister Jefferson also. She was chairing this committee for the last, what, the last 20 years at least. You were chairing this committee. So we want to thank you for the job that you were doing. Amen. Sister, Ma, uh, Sister Murray. Amen. Thank you, Sister Murray. Uh, that's love. That's love. You remember Sister Rebecca Price used to always say, a bell is not a bell until you ring it, and love is not a love until you give it. So you're giving love, and we, uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing. To God be the glory. Let us continue to pray for one another.
just one, just one more day, just one more, just one more day, I, I thank the Lord for he's given me one more day, just one more, just one more, just one more day, the Lord is made a way, I thank God, I thank God. Just one more, just one more chance, one more chance, I thank God just Just one more chance to do the very best that I can. I think, I thank God just for one more. Just one more, just one more chance, just one more, he's giving us another chance. Just one more, one more, just one more chance. I thank you. I have to thank him. I thank you for giving me one more chance. He's giving me. Just one more, just one more, just one more chance to do.
Paige, and thank you, Ms. Jefferson, for that reminder in song that all that we do is to the glory of God. God sits high, but he participates down low. And whenever his children will give him glory as they make their way from earth to glory, God will supply our needs according to his riches in glory. Thank you, choir, for that beautiful selection. We recognize the presence of our visitors. Are, are there any visitors? I know Chris is here. Thank you, Chris, for being with us this morning. Do we have any other visitors with us this morning? If not, I want to let you know that you're always welcome into the house of God. Whenever you come into the presence of God, joy bells ought to go off in your heart. Recognizing, as the choir just sang, that God has brought us from a mighty long way. I'd like to share that passage of scripture. It's found in the 27th chapter of Matthew, Matthew chapter 27. After reading our scripture, I'm going to ask that Deacon Pinkney would lead us in a word. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is it to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver into the temple and part departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and brought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then when fulfilled that which was spoken of Jeremiah, the prophet, saying, and they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when they, he was accused of the chief priests and the elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? 
And he answered him to never a word. Insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast, the governor was wrought to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had them a noble prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will that I release unto you? <coughs> the rabbis or Jesus, which is called Christ. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whither of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. Jesus said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus which is called Christ, they all said unto him, let him be crucified. And the governor said, why? What evil has he done? But they cried out the more, saying, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail not, but that rather a tumult was about, was made. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answering, all the people and Jesus and said, his blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them. And when they had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers and the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers and they stripped him and put him on scarlet robe and when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and bowed the knee before him and mocked him with saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that, they had mocked him that they took the robe off of from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away in to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of serene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear the cross. I've read 32 verses of the 27th chapter. May the Lord add blessing 
to the reading of his word for the sanctification of the good of our hearts. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. I'm going to ask Deacon Pinkman to lead us in a word of prayer. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Our Father and our God, we come again in the name of Jesus. We come, Heavenly Father, first to say thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, realizing that you've been good to us. You've been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Uh, last night, Heavenly Father, as we slumber and slept, you allow your angel to watch over us. You allow no hurt, harm, no danger before us. And early this morning, you, you woke us up. We was closed and in our right mind. We still had a roof over our head. We, we, we still had an appetite, Heavenly Father. So we just come to say thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, for this church that we call the Salem Missionary Baptist Church. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, the distance from whence thou have brought us. Realizing you could, you've been good to us. Oh God, we, 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 you blessed us, oh God, when we were too mean to say thank you. You still blessed us. So we come on this uh, first Sunday in another month, we come uh, just to say thank you. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your healing power. Realizing, oh God, without you, there are nothing that we can do. But, oh God, we come also and ask in you that you would bless those who are sick among us. We have some sick members, oh God. Some at home, some are in the nursing home, and some in the hospital. You and all knowing God, you know where they are, you know them by name, and you know exactly what they stand in need of. We are not trying to tell you what to do, Heavenly Father. We ask that you would just bless them. Bless them with the blessings that they stand in need of. We, we, we stand on your word, Heavenly Father, when you say, I will supply all of your needs according to your riches and glory. And because everything belongs to you, Heavenly Father, we just ask that you would bless those us who are standing in need, oh God. Bless us with the blessing that we are standing in need of. Bless our sick. We pray, Heavenly Father, that thou would bless our young people, those who are growing, Heavenly Father, in age, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would help them to grow more into grace. Help them, Heavenly Father, to realize that without you, there is nothing that they can do. Bless us, O oh God, as we go forward. Bless this service today, Heavenly Father. Bless us, O oh God, as we come to commune together, O oh God. Bind us together in love. Help us to realize, God, it was through your blood that we are saved. 
It's through your blood, oh God, that you uh, give us eternal life. Bless us, oh God, as we go forth our end this, to this service. We pray especially for our leader and Reverend James B. Lewis. Bless him with the blessing that he stands in need of. Oh God, give him the word. Give him the word, oh God, that he be able to give us the word. That we be able to be better Christian. That we be able to be better advisors. That we be able to be a better servant in your vineyard on this side. We pray for our first lady and sister, uh, uh, Desiree Lewis, oh God. In her infirmity, oh God, we pray that you would bless her, oh God. Above all, we pray that you would just give her patience. Give her patience, oh God, and help her to realize that you are still God. And you are still in the blessing business. You were blessed in the past, and you are still blessing, oh God. Bless Sister Lewis. Bless her, oh God. Give her courage. Give her patience. Give her understanding. Give her, oh God, leader director in the path that you would have her to go. I pray for everyone that's under the sound of my voice, every auxiliary of this church, every leader of this church. Bless each and every one of us, oh God, that we do not lean to our own understanding, but in all our way, help us to acknowledge you, that you would be able to direct our path, oh God. We pray that thou would create within all of our leaders, oh God, a clean heart and a right spirit. Let them know, let us know that it's not about us, but it's all about you. Do this for us, Heavenly Father, and we will give you all the glory. We will give you the praise. We will take no credit for ourselves, oh God, but it will all go to you. Continue to lead, guide, and direct us. Then when it's all over on this side, Lord, when the battle has been fought, the victory has been won. We must stick our sword in the golden sands of time and study war almost your time to call and our time to answer. Just here, when I hear you say, well done. Pinkney, well done. Pinkney, well done. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on now, I'll make you ruler over many. But until then, Heavenly Father, until then, Heavenly Father, keep me humble. Keep me in your pathway, Lord. Keep me until it's all over. When I hear you say, welcome into my kingdom. These blessings I ask now in thy son Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Come on, praise the Lord with me, church. God been good to us. Yes, he been good. I don't know about you, but I, I got to praise him while I got a chance. I may not have the chance anymore. Would you praise him with me? To God be the glory. To God be the glory.
God Almighty that has allowed us to be able to come into the house of worship and prayer one more time. We are grateful to God Almighty for all that God has done our entire lives. God has brought us from a mighty long way. Danger seen and unseen. God has made a way for us. Someone said, and I agree, 99 and a half won't do. But I've got to go all the way. When you find out that God has brought you, then every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. I'm so grateful to the officers of this church. Thank you all so much for the the marvelous job that you do in making sure that we stay on the path of everlasting. It's not an easy job, but if God be for you, who can be against you? I'm grateful to all of you as you serve your lives in service to the God who has called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. God wants to make an example of each of you. He wants all of you to be a living witness of what it means to trust in God with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. I'm so grateful to have the privilege of being able to just share a few words with you as we pass along this journey. The journey isn't as long as it has been. Soon you will hear your Savior say, sit down, sir. Come on. Go ahead. Rest. Go a little while. You fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. You kept the faith. You finish the course. Now it's laid down for you a crown of righteousness. But this is the part that I, I don't want anyone, not for you only. Yeah, of all of that, that, that's we, we always have to bear that in mind. Yeah. Because when you think it's all about us, then we forget about others. And God blesses us so that we can be a blessing. Others, as we make our way on up the King's Highway. When we get there, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a question asked. Get ready for it, because you will answer it now, or you will answer it later, but you will answer this question. What did you do with the life that I gave? I pray that on that day you can say, Lord, I tried to help somebody. That has been the admonition of every true born child of God since God has laid his hands on them. Not to help themselves, but to make life better for others as you make your way on up. I often hear people talk about, I'm on my way to heaven. Well, if you get there and you find out that you're there by yourself, you haven't been on your way to heaven. You have to bring somebody else along with you. You got to let somebody else know that the same one who has brought you is the same one that will make a way for them. As you go along life's journey, always bear in mind, that you are your brother's keeper. There's no such thing as I'm on my way by myself. God didn't call you by yourself. God called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. And he wants you to let somebody else know that there is a bright side. Yes. Somewhere. And don't you rest 
until you find it. I'm so grateful to God Almighty that somewhere along life's journey, somebody took the time to make sure that I knew for myself. I remember my mama telling me, when my bones are bleaching in the grave, you're going to hear me. And I, I respect that to this day. She's gone on to glory, but when she left there, she made sure that I heard that there was a way that is mighty sweet. She made sure that she told me that if I trust him, that I hadn't begun to see the end of life, that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, Neither has it in the heart of man the good things that God has in store for them who trust him, for them who are called according to his purposes. I'm so glad that somebody took a little time and prayed for me. Amen. They had me on their mind. I'm so glad that somebody saw something in me that needed to be touched by the master. Well, we sing the song sometimes shackled by a heavy burden neath the load of guilt and shame but then the hand of Jesus touched me and now I, I'm no longer he touched Oh, the joy that flooded my soul. Something happened. And now, that, that, that ought to be the testimony of every child of God that they're going to keep their hands in God's hands. That regardless of what comes, regardless of what may take place in life, they're going to keep their hands in God's hands because weeping may endure for a night, but if you hold on, if you keep your hands in God's hand, God's got a way that is mighty sweet. You know, they didn't believe that. Like, like so many in the world today, they don't believe that. They think that they got to figure it out. But let me tell you, the same God who blew blew breath into our body that gave us the directions on earth is the same God that we will have to see again. When you close your eyes in the sweet sleep of death, he's going to ask you the question, what did you do with the life that, and if your life is only about you, then you're going to be Assigned to eternity without God. And I know that all of us know the song. Without God, we can do nothing. Without God, we can't do but fail. Without God, we're like a ship. I don't want to see without a rudder. Without God, we will fail. This is the condition of Jesus when he, he went to Calvary's cross. Some believe that he went there for sins that he had committed against the state. But he didn't go there for anything that he had done wrong. He went there for you and for me. For the wrong that was done. That we have to fall down on our knees and say, Father, forgive. We, you see, when, when we commit sins, it's up to us to recognize that we have sinned against God. And not to say, the Lord knows the way. But we have to go to our brother and our sister and say, forgive me. I used to like the old church. Yes, sir. We used to have watch night service. They stopped the service. Some old lady in the back of the church would stand up and say, now I got one thing to say. If I have done wrong to anyone, 
I stand up before God to say, forgive me. You see, I don't know what happened to the church where we feel like, oh, they'll understand. No, they'll understand. They'll understand that you are a sinner that don't want the grace of God. But if you want to show somebody that I've chosen God's way, then you ought to stand up and testify before man and God that if God gives me the breath, I'm going to ask you to forgive me. Something about receiving the forgiveness of God. God can wipe away all tears from your eyes. I remember they say, I don't even remember the sin that I've committed, but whatever it is, I want you to forgive me because God will look beyond your faults and supply all of your need according to his riches in glory. You see, the objective of being a child of God is to have some place to go when the time get tough and you can't see your way. That's the time when you ought to ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing yes, to aid you. He will carry you. Oh, I like the way the song I say. Yield not to temptation. For yielding is sin. Each victory will help you, some others. To win, fight manfully onward. Dark passions subdue. But look ever to Jesus, and he will carry you through. I, I, I don't know when the Lord's going to show back up in your life again, but whenever he shows up, I pray that you can show out. That you can show the Lord that I have done what you're commanded and yet there is room. God will make a way. you say, servant, sit down. Rest a little while. You fought a good fight. You kept the faith. You finished the course. Now is laid up for you a crown of righteousness, but not for you only, but for all those who love my parents. I don't know when Jesus is coming back, but when he shall come with trumpet sound, mm -hmm. oh, may I then in him be found, mm -hmm. dressed in his righteousness alone, Faultless to stand before his throne. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is sinking. They stretched him wide. They hung him high. He hung his holy head. He died. He died until death. He died. But blessed be God three days later. He got up out of that grave. He got up. Declared to all men, all power is in my hand. I can destroy, I will defend all power. It's in my hand. Someone saw that and I, I agree with them. They sang the song right on. King Jesus. No man can hinder thee. Right on! King Jesus, no man! And then they say, in that great getting up moment. Come on, preach out. Say you laugh. Say you well in that great getting up moment. Put your hands in God's hands. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. After a while, by and by. Yes. By change. Oh. bless you.
sit down, servant. Sit down, sit down servant. Sit down, servant. Sit down, sit down and rest Oh, I know you had a hard time. I know you had a hard time. Oh, Lord, I know you. At a hard time, sit down, sit down. Oh, you've been coming for a long time. You've been coming for a long time. For a long time, say, oh Lord, oh say down, servant, say down, servant, ah, say down, servant. Oh Lord, oh sit down, turban. Ah, sit down, turban. Ah, sit down, turban. Oh Lord, sit. Oh, I know you had a hard time. Oh, I know you had a hard time. Oh, I know you had a hard time. Oh, Lord, sit down and rest a little while. Oh, you've been coming for a long time. You've been coming for a long time. You've been coming for a long time. Oh, I sit down.
with you. Go, draw closer to the front. May you prepare for our communion services.
Confess 